Charles Robert Jenkins is a former United States Army soldier who lived in North Korea from 1965 to 2004 after deserting from his unit and crossing the Korean demilitarized zone. Military service and desertion, Jenkins was born in Rich Square, North Carolina. He joined the National Guard in 1955, aged 15, well below the minimum enlistment age. He joined the regular army in 1958 and was assigned to the 1st Cavalry Division. He served in South Korea from 1960 to 1961, in Europe from 1962 to 1964, and in South Korea again. In South Korea, Jenkins was assigned to night patrols. He subsequently crossed into North Korea and surrendered to forces there, in hopes of being sent to the USSR and then, through prisoner exchange, eventually returned to America. Shortly thereafter, North Korean propaganda declared that a U.S. sergeant had defected, and broadcast statements allegedly made by the defector, reportedly in stilted English. The U.S. Army claimed Jenkins wrote four letters stating his intention to defect. However, the original letters are reportedly lost. His relatives maintained throughout his absence that he was abducted. Life in North Korea, information about Jenkins' status was unavailable outside North Korea for many years. Jenkins says he almost immediately regretted his desertion. He says that he and three other U.S. servicemen, Larry Escher, Jerry Parrish and James Strasnock, were quarantined in a one-room house with no running water for seven years until 1972, where they were made to study the Josh philosophy of Kim Il-sung daily. They were forced to memorize large passages of Kim's in Korean, and beaten frequently by their guards. He says that at one point in 1966, he found his way to the Soviet embassy in Pyongyang and requested asylum, which was denied. Eventually, Jenkins was placed in separate housing and began teaching English at the Pyongyang University of Foreign Studies. In 1980, Jenkins was introduced to Hitomi Soga, a 21-year-old Japanese nursing student who had been abducted by North Korean agents in 1978, along with her mother, during a search for Japanese citizens who could train future spies in Japanese language and culture. Soga's mother was never heard from again, and Soga was given to Jenkins. Thirty-eight days after meeting, they were married. They had two daughters, Roberta Mika Jenkins and Brinda Carol Jenkins. In 1982, Jenkins appeared in the North Korean film Unsung Heroes, which provided the first evidence to the Western world that he was alive. The U.S. government did not publicly reveal this information until 1996. Confirmation and return, Jenkins drew international interest again in 2002, when North Korean leader Kim Jong-il confirmed that North Korea had abducted Japanese citizens. In an effort at dark copyright tent, surviving abductees were allowed to travel to Japan, including Jenkins' wife. The visit was intended to last for a week, but the Japanese government chose not to return them on schedule and instead negotiated for their families to join them in Japan. Most of the families did ultimately travel to Japan, but Jenkins and his daughters stayed behind out of fear that the North Korean government was testing his loyalty. After assurances of protection from the Japanese government, he traveled with his daughters to Japan by way of Indonesia for medical treatment, arriving in Japan on July 18, 2004. Japan formally requested a pardon for Jenkins, which the U.S. declined to grant. After expressing a desire to put his conscience at rest, Jenkins reported on September 11, 2004 to Camp Zama in Japan. He reported in respectful military form, saluting the receiving military police officer. On November 3, Jenkins pled guilty to charges of desertion and aiding the enemy, but denied making disloyal or seditious statements a euro the latter charges were dropped. He was sentenced to 30 days confinement, received a dishonorable discharge, forfeiture of all pay and benefits and was reduced in rank to E1 private. He was released six days early, on November 27, 2004, for good behavior. Jenkins and his family settled on Sado Island in Japan, which is Soga's home. On June 14, 2005, Jenkins, his wife, and two daughters traveled to the United States to visit his 91-year-old mother in North Carolina, returning later in the month. He found work as a greeter in a shop. 
There were three other American deserters who remained in North Korea as well, James Joseph Drisnock, Private Larry Allen Escher, and Specialist Jerry Wayne Parrish. The former two defected in 1962, while the latter defected in 1963. As of 2007, Drisnock is living in North Korea and says he does not regret his defection. According to North Korean official reports, Escher and Parrish died of natural causes while living in that country. On July 15, 2008, Jenkins obtained permanent residency status in Japan, just half a month after he applied for the status. Jenkins commented that he wanted to stay in Japan for the rest of his life, and would also like to obtain Japanese nationality. Equals military awards equals. Although dishonorably discharged from military service, Jenkins' years of status as a deserter technically qualified him for several automatic military decorations which he displayed at the time of his court-martial. During his active duty service in the 1960s, Jenkins was presented one award of a Good Conduct Medal, this being the only awards he was ever formally presented by the military. During his years as a deserter, however, Jenkins was carried on the rolls of the U.S. Army in a desertion status meaning that he was not discharged but classified as an active duty soldier under time lost due to his AWOL status. In 2004, when Jenkins surrendered himself as a deserter, the U.S. Army placed him back on the active duty rolls as a deserter returned to military control. He was credited with 14,494 days time lost as a deserter and, by default, became eligible for all automatic service medals which had been created during his long period of absence. This included all automatic awards created for soldiers serving in Korea as well as active duty awards for service after the September 11 attacks in 2001. At his court-martial in November 2004, Jenkins appeared wearing the following awards on his Army uniform. Army Good Conduct Medal, National Defense Service Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Career Defense Service Medal, Army Service Ribbon, Overseas Service Ribbon, Jenkins further displayed the North Carolina Service Ribbon to denote his status as a guardsman transferred to the regular Army during his original tour in the 1950s and 60s. His one authorized army badge is the Marksmanship Badge with Rifle Bar. Memoirs Jenkins published a book in Japanese in October 2005, titled To Tell the Truth, about his experiences in North Korea. A Korean language edition was also released in June 2006 by Mulpure Publishing of South Korea. An English language version, titled The Reluctant Communist, My Desertion, Court Martial, and Forty Year Imprisonment in North Korea, co-authored with journalist Jim Frederick, was published by the University of California Press on March 1, 2008. See also List of American and British defectors in the Korean War, the 21 Americans and one Briton who refused repatriation during Operation Big Switch in 1953, Larry Allen Escher of Urbana, Illinois, deserted in May 1962 at age 19, James Joseph Drisnock of Richmond, Virginia. Deserted on August 15, 1962 at age 21, Jerry Wayne Parrish of Morganfield, Kentucky, deserted in December 1963 at age 19, Roy Chung, deserted in June 1979, Joseph T. White of St. Louis, Missouri, deserted in August 1982 at age 20. References External links, FER interview with Jenkins, September 1, 2004, Asia Times, the Strange Saga of Charles Robert Jenkins, BBC News, North Korea's Mystery Guest, Time Asia Magazine, The Long Mistake, U.S. Deserter Reunited with Mother, Last Surviving U.S. Defector to North Korea Speaks Out, from the Korea Times, August 19, 2004, Deserter Recalls and Korean Hell Interview of Jenkins by Scott Pelley of CBS's 60 Minutes, Kokuwaku, Pictures, Kokuwaku. Pictures, two photos, and translations from Jenkins' book published in Japan. The reluctant North Korean film star interview with Charles Jenkins about film work and collaborating with the U.S. government by Alex Hoban.